Hi everybody, it's Maya and today we are going to be reviewing a universal makeup stack. This is by the brand Subtle Beauty. This is the little box that it came in. So what this is, is a stack with concealer, blush, highlight, bronzer. Yeah, it's supposed to be like makeup on the go or travel friendly makeup. I originally thought that the color of the stack was going to be based on the colors that you picked. But no, it just looks like this always. Now I will say packaging wise, it's cute, right? It's not very practical in my opinion. The little compartments here just they fall apart very easily. You can't flip this upside down. It'll just knock right over. It is a cute little setup and my bang. Just realized this is a bang that I cut back in July and now it's just super super long. But yeah, I don't know. It, for this to be something that advertises as travel friendly I was hoping for it to be more secure and maybe I just got a faulty one because people were saying that their stacks had a little compartment with a sponge like a sponge that it comes with in here and I'm assuming it's this last one that's what everyone says I can't get it off I pried it with my fingers my nails I'm not trying to break it so I just was like whatever so I missed out maybe I got a faulty stack because other people don't seem to have that issue, but it is kind of flimsy. For this being $60 to $80, it kind of depends on how many products you pick. This is just the standard stack. I think you can actually get one more. I, I skipped eyeshadow because I figured I don't really need to use eyeshadow if I have bronzer and highlight and blush in here. I could just use that as an eyeshadow. But yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into this video and review this stack. So the price point, like I mentioned, was pretty expensive. It ranges from $60 to $80. It could even be more. It could be less depending on what products you pick out. Like you are getting a concealer, a lip to cheek product bronzer, highlighter, and a shine control. So when you think about it that way, like the product, like the individual product that you would buy from a store, like a lipstick, would range from like $5 to like 20 if you want a really expensive lipstick. I don't know, the price pointing I thought was pretty accurate for what you're getting because you are getting individual products technically just in a stack form. But yeah, so the products I picked out, so the first stack we have here is the Shine Control Powder. This is what that looks like. It is, they only have one shade, it's a translucent powder. And I do like this powder a lot, it just comes across like that. There is a slight color to it at first, but then it just blends out and it magnifies your skin. I do like the powder a lot. Next one in here is a highlighter. The highlighter is in the shade Champagne. It is a powder highlight, just very nice. It is not glittery at all. It is super, super shimmery and natural looking. It's very pretty. If you could see, it's a very natural looking highlight. And I like that a lot. I don't really have many powder highlights that are natural looking. Most of them are super blinding. But now I'm happy to have a powder that actually is more natural. The next stack in here I have is the bronzer. And this one is in the shade Latte. I'm pretty sure this is the second lightest bronzer or the second bronzer that they have. I didn't choose the lightest one. I know that for sure. This bronzer color is really nice on me as well. It is the perfect shade. Also, it is super pigmented. The swatch doesn't show up like extremely pigmented. But it does carry a lot of pigment to it. Next product in here is the Lip to Cheek. And I got mine in the shade Red. I just got the red one because to me it was the one that I would use the most often. What I forgot to say was the bronzer is also a powder formula. The blush on the other hand is a cream because it can be used on your lips and your cheeks. It is just your standard ruby red shade. It's very, very pretty. Let's watch that. It's like a brick red kind of color. I love it because you can wear red blush in the spring, summer, fall, and winter. You could also rock a red lip during any of those as well. Not that I really ever wear red lip, like a red lip on its own, 
but I like to like blot my lips with it sometimes and it looks really pretty especially topping it with a lip gloss which I will do today because you will see later it's more of a mattifying formula not so much creamy and dewy so on the lips it is kind of drying some of you guys prefer that I prefer like a wet lip so I'm gonna top it with gloss later and the last one in here is the concealer and I cannot separate the concealer from the bottom it's in the shade Chartiers or something I'm not sure the concealer though I excellently dug my nail into but it is a pretty good shade for me I would say it's spot on another quick thing to mention the stack does not come with a mirror in it which I thought was annoying they could have put it right here on top of the shine control powder right on top just to make things easier for on the go makeup however they miss their chance with that maybe they will come out with another stack or just a mirror that you could just add to your stack for free or something so I'm gonna take the concealer with my finger and just start applying it where I need it I don't like applying makeup with my fingers ever because I feel like it gives a weird effect. My skin just doesn't really react great when I use my fingers. But yeah, it gave decent coverage to the under eye as you could see side by side. It does have a decent amount of coverage to it. However, I have a lot of redness all over my face. So the easiest thing for me, I was just going to show you guys really quick it with my fingers. I do not like to apply it with my fingers so I'm not going to continue to do that. But, I'm going to take a big foundation brush and just dip it in there and just sort of use it as a very light coverage all over foundation. This is what I usually do with potted concealers anyway. I use them as foundation for days I don't want to wear foundation. Or do two steps. You know, I'll just do one side of my face first. Just to show y'all the difference side by side the shade match is pretty spot on redness over here and over here it just looks really good so I do like that as an all over or if you're someone who just wants to touch up under your eyes and spot conceal it works well for that too I will say the texture on the skin it doesn't look complete I don't know if you could see that it's not completely like not like, you can see it a little bit sitting on the skin. I don't mind that because after I apply blush and bronzer and highlight and powder and everything else, that texture seems to go away. But I just thought it was worth mentioning. But yeah, side by side, I would say that's pretty good. I was actually surprised, I thought, because it was called Subtle Beauty, that they would just be super subtle with everything. Okay, so I would say the coverage is pretty great to me i would be very comfortable just leaving the house with that concealer on and you don't even really feel it on your skin i wouldn't be opposed to walking out the house without setting my face because it doesn't really feel like heavy or anything it's super light but moving on i'm going to go in with the blush now i'm going in with the elf putty blush brush and I'm just going to pick up some of that red and apply that to my cheeks and it looks really pretty on the skin. Super pigmented as well and I'm applying a little bit more than I usually would just because I am going over it with powder and I'm going over it with bronzer and highlighter later so it's going to end up sort of disappearing a little bit but yeah and then applying the rest just in my crease yeah the blush is not dewy at all it is so it's really mattifying it reminds me a lot of the elf putty blush where it just kind of smooths over your cheeks and stuff i know i look crazy right now i'll take some on my finger and blot that on my lip just for now i will sand the lips the taste of it tastes like Halloween lipstick. Also, the formula is very mattifying on the lips as well. But it's it's cute. Like, it is a lip color. It looks good. It'll stay on since it's not very creamy. But, yeah. I don't know. I like it. It's very vibrant. It is super pigmented. But 
I will be going over it with the gloss later. So to move on, I'm going to go in with the Shine Control Powder now, just to set down my face. And I'm going to use the brush that they gave. So I'm just going to swirl it and... Yeah, so you put it and then it just kind of like... I don't know, the brush is very flimsy. But it does the job, it's working, so I can't complain. This powder, it is very good. I do notice that it does control shine very well. It does exactly what it says it is, shine control. Yeah, it's just sort of mattified that side of my face compared to this side. Next, I'm going to go in with the bronzer. Remember, this is in the shade Latte. Taking the same brush. Just going to swirl some. And this is very pigmented as well. So, as you can see, I'm just going to use whatever and just put it where I need it for right now and then whatever's left I will use to blend. I do not like this brush for applying these kinds of products. I don't know but it's fine. It's a very pretty bronzer though. I, I kind of hope that Subtle Beauty kind of releases these products in bigger sizes like on their own because the formulas are actually pretty good. Before I go on with highlight, I'm just going to stick with the bronzer and apply some eyeshadow with it. I'm going to try to use the brush to do an all over eyeshadow because I'm not really focusing it anywhere. I just want to stick it in the crease, just put some color there. They did have really cute little eyeshadow duos, but I didn't want to spend the extra however much it was to get it when I don't really need it. So I'm going to finish up my eyes with my own makeup, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the eyes are complete. I will link the products I used in the description. I just used my eyeliner and mascara, and then I just brushed my brows with a spoolie. But yeah, so moving on to the highlight now in the shade Champagne, same brush. I'm just going to use that to give my cheeks some glow again. The shade of this highlight I would say is very pretty. It's not too dark on me, but it is definitely like a true champagne color. It's very kind of yellow toned. I wouldn't say that it looks bad on my skin, but I think they had a lighter shade, I just didn't pick it up for some reason. Alright, now my skin is looking nice and healthy. So that was the completed stack. I'm just going to finish off my makeup with some lip gloss. I'm going in with Tower 28 lip gloss in Cashew. I think that this combo with the red with a brown lipstick looks very good together. That's how I like to wear my reds. with like a another lip gloss over top to help counteract it. To finish off the blush, whatever was left off on this brush, I don't know if there's any more red on here, but if there is, please come off onto my cheeks just to add a little bit more color back. Yeah, I did. Okay, well this is the finished look. What did you guys think? I think that I was able to create a very successful look that looks like all of my other makeup looks up close. My skin is looking very flawless. Yeah, I don't have any complaints anywhere with how this makeup is looking. I don't have any issues with cakiness, dryness. I would definitely bring this stack with me when I go on my trips now just to use this all over my face because I just created. It looks like a full glam look in my opinion. This is what I do my makeup every day like and doesn't look subtle, doesn't look like I'm not wearing anything, it looks exactly how I like my makeup to look. So yeah, it just depends on what you want, like you could cater these products to be more natural or you can really go out and get some nice vibrant colors like the red. Yeah, I like it. Um, was it $80 well spent? I'm kind of on and off about it, like did I need this stack? No. However, having it is definitely going to help me out a lot 
when I go on trips, when I am wanting to go somewhere for a little bit, like work, and I do my makeup, I can just bring this to touch up on the powder, like with the shine control powder. I would honestly just bring this powder in my purse, like singly, just to touch up because it's really nice powder. Yeah, would you guys buy this stack? How would you make it cater towards you? And I know there's a sponge in here somewhere, but I can't get it out. <laughs> So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And also comment on if you enjoyed this stack or what you would do differently with it. Or even how you would apply it. Like, how, what would you would use to apply it with? Your fingers, the brush, sponge, what? <laughs> so, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.